people call 911 for a variety of different reasons, and oftentimes they don't require an ambulance or a police officer. Stop! Get on the ground! Knock it off! This was the, the violent ground. result after on Lyndon Cameron's ground. mother called police on to request ground. help for her 13-year-old son who has autism. We can help people more effectively. We can connect them to the resources that they need to be connected to. Um, and it's also a force multiplier for the police department and the ambulances in the sense that they can focus on um, calls where they're really needed versus these public health and resource calls. I rely on is a lot of harm reduction, um, a lot of non-judgment, being supportive and just listening to people and trying to think outside of the box and get creative when we need to solve a problem. We've responded to individuals who are experiencing suicidal ideation, who are not in imminent risk, uh, individuals who need to be reconnected to their treatment team or need community resources, such as a day shelter, an overnight shelter. We have also uh, transported people home if they need just kind of a ride home, they've gotten stranded somewhere. Uh, we also carry supplies on the van, things like snacks, water, hand warmers. Um, so we outreach several of the camps um, downtown and we'll provide those uh, uh, resources as well. Really, anyone who just needs help in Denver, who isn't in imminent risk or um, displaying any sort of aggressive behavior, so I will respond to that call. People kind of see that, uh, you know, their issues or problems can get solved in the moment by a, a paramedic and a social worker um, versus a police officer. And I also think it's um, really encouraging uh, for people to see the police request us um, and sort of say, hey, you know, I was dispatched here, but I may not be the right person to solve this problem for you, but I'm going to get some people here who can help you. Um, so I think that just shows really good community policing as well. due to a lack of community resources. Uh, these calls were never really supposed to be on police's plate in the first place. And because of that um, gap in resources, that's kind of where they wind up. Um, you know, our Denver police are, are CIT trained. Um, and do the best they can, but recognize that they're experts in law enforcement and not in crisis or in you know community resources in the same way that a licensed clinician um, is. started working on this pilot program and developing this pilot program in May of 2019. So it had actually been in the works long before um, the events of the summer um, and the sort of calls for reform. Denver was already uh, working on providing this type of response. Um, and we're very lucky um, in the city to have such a progressive department that is willing to partner with mental health clinicians um, on these types of programs. There's a great need for more teams and more vans, which was exactly, you know, what we hope to uh, discover with the pilot program. So I think every city um, can kind of, uh, you know, relate to the fact that calls come through the 911 system that don't require um, emergent response or don't require uh, fire, ambulance or police response. <laughs>